We have a match to commentate. Let's get it to this next one. We're going to go over to Smashville. We have uh, Stedge versus Hazy Goose. Yes. Sledge. I apologize. Sledge. Sledge. Like the hammer. Like the hammer. I played against Sledge earlier today. This dude is no joke. I got to tell you. Um, he has great neutral. Um, often plays really, really smart. And can get a ton of mileage when it comes to the to tech chasing. Um, but... You gotta, you kind of really have to earn it against this guy. Yeah. He he has great persistence and he's gonna stay up to last stocks, no problem. Oh man. Oh uh, excuse me, last percentages. I'm not. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. But Hazy Good Goose, stuff. He, he, I think, if I remember correctly, he's coming from uh, winning uh, the melee bracket, and I think he got third place with his teammate Dill in the uh, doubles bracket. Yeah. Music. Oh, D. So good. Okay. But let's see if we can get in this. Um. Oh, he tries to get that Nair. Push it out there. Not going to have it. Good stuff. He, and, and this is what I'm talking about is that he'll get one of those grabs, and then once he puts um, his opponent on their back, he's going to kind of play footsies a little bit and kind of guess, and then boom, put that stun down and force them to get Sun and get that next uh, So what you're saying out. is he's going to put the stun on him. <laughs> yeah. Put, put, put the, the stun, stun on him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout outs to uh, the folks who tuned into the uh, Brown Battalion Twitch channel. But yes. as we're saying that, he legitimately puts the stun on him and racks up a quick 20%. But you got to be very cautious in regards to his percentage, seeing as uh, Sledge is sitting at 106 right now. Up air, not going to be enough. Tries to snipe him with the arrow. White work out in his favor, but he clips him with that interesting disjoint. Yeah, good choice though. Let's see if he can drop down here for free. Yes, good stuff getting in there with that bear. That is so integral. Is that ability to play footsies? Notice that moment wherever they kind of want to go low, you jump and go in high. And it works out real well for you. Uh, good pestering though, overall, from uh, Goose. Yeah, from Hazy Goose. I think Goose has been doing a good job of just. Whenever he finds his opening, he doesn't surrender anything, right? He gets positioning, and he's like, okay, that's it, holding it. And you're not going to take anything away from me. But he's also playing Pit, who has a great control over that projectile, right? Oh, yeah. Um, whip it, weave it anywhere you need to, and then you just put it exactly where you need to stop options or pester or hit them. It, it's, a, it's a great projectile. Whip it, weave it, crash upgrade it. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, how was I not going to think about Technologic by Daft Punk? Of course. I set you up, baby. I got you. Don't worry. Oh, so good. Dude. Nice grab there from uh, Sledge. He finds himself in a really bad position here, though. Let's see if Hazy Goose. He's, no. got, he's got the positional advantage. He's trying to find the snipe. A really good uh, option, though, going for the uh, recovery on that moving platform instead of uh, trying to contest the edge. Oh, good stuff. That's going to be not going to be enough for Sledge, though. Goose is fighting his way back on the stage. That's a great DI. He's still in this. Oh, clips him with the up B. Very unexpected there. But I think that's going to be the stock, and indeed it is. Yes. 88% is what separates these two. He's going to need some nice combos. He's trying to get things started, coming in with that uh, down smash. But you know, the one thing about it is uh, it, it, when your opponent knows that you're going to be really going for an option, that's when they're going to be setting up those counter hits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's and be very careful. That's because when things get that much more obvious, right, that's, that's when you know you're in more danger. Uh, so you have to kind of guess for that next level when it comes to that uh, Yomi, right? Reading into that mind of the opponent, right? So that's what you get from really high level play is those multiple levels of Yomi. That you know, that I know, that you know, that I know. Which you really want. Uh, you know, that I know, that I know, that you know. What you really, really want, so tell me what you want. Uh, nice little grab there. <laughs> he's putting him in a, off of the stage, but he's going to be able to make it back. Uh, that nice tether recovery means that uh, he can snap back to the ledge from uh, really low distances. We don't have a ton of pit players over there. I, I mean, I can think Shokyo has probably played this character a couple times. I mean, Shokyo has definitely played uh, that Zero Suit, and I know that WT Blake... Uh, oh, nice read! That was really smart stuff, because he's picking up on the fact that... Uh, Hazy Goose had a tendency of uh, rolling in towards the center of the stage. So the dare with Iker, uh, with Kid Icarus is like, or you see this hit. Um, you can, it's really it's towards the end of the dare, um, and then it turns into a spike. It's not uh, a spike off the bat. You have to be really selective about it, otherwise it kind of pops him up. Because I remember watching Shoke play. Um, oh, nice. Ooh, that's good. That was good. Hazy Goose, fantastic job. Um, playing real cautious, real smart. Um, so, I. I really like the position that we saw from Hazy Goose overall. Um, played the character efficiently, um, 
But here's here's what I want to see is getting them either to quicker to higher percentages quicker, or I want to see better kill options earlier. Right? Yeah. Um, and I, I understand Pit is kind of has difficulties with that, but um, it it comes down to making the plays off stage or creating those those uh, opportunities to begin with and then show me out those killing potentials, right? So, I don't know. Where do you think they're going to go at this point? Well, first we're probably going to be seeing a character switch and indeed we we Ooh. are. Hazy Goose, uh, if I remember Yo, correctly. Okay. I'm Yo, pumped. this is what I'm the Oklahomies pumped. want. This is what the Oklahomies want. I know in chat some people were saying I that, was asking uh, for killing options. They said, you know what? We got you, bro. <laughs> Chad, they, uh, uh, I know that uh, someone was uh, saying that Sludge has some secret DK powers. I mean, I'm stoked to finally see them. Yes. But Hazy Goose busting out his melee main, uh, Captain Falcon. It's going to be really hype. We're really spoiled because uh, we see um, we see Strong Bad play DK yeah, and we get away some. with murder. Like He does some awesome stuff with the character. And on top of that, we also have some great Falcon mains as well. Uh, Youngblood comes into mind. And whoa, zero to death for Hazy Goose. Okay, so Sledge is finally getting on the board. This nice small stage. I know uh, a lot of DK mains really prefer the uh, smaller stages just because of how compact they are and uh, how much further from a percent standpoint those hitboxes really are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But it's also coming down to how you want to play from. Like, imagine if you're playing from in front, right? Like, you are seeing um, Goose doing so well with it right now with Falcon. Goose on the loose, man. Ooh, Goose is on a tear, but he gets blown up. That's with the be fair. Oh, yo. yo. Are we doing yo. this? We're doing this. Is this is this that moment that we've been talking about where we just wrap a set? Where I, where I wrap a set? Oh, God. I don't know if I can, I can freestyle a set. You have as, I don't know if you have enough bars for, like, the full extent of this uh, game. I mean, it's only two minutes, right? You got to go in for two minutes. Okay, up throw, nair. Freestyle for two minutes. That's doable. He's going to... No, he's not even going to have to dunk him. He just chilled. Ooh, I, I think that was just the respect. That was disrespect. That was, you know, uh, I'm I'm on board with that because I, I I don't like, you know, free like free KOs. You know what I mean? We we're coming from Dallas, man, and the way we've always approached it is we don't want to see anyone, you know, not perform optimally. We get mad. Not, and it might sound biased at times too, because you know we see guys throw away socks. Last, you know, Thursday. Luck was playing against Sethon and just botched it in SD a couple times. And we were, we were both pissed because we don't want anybody to, you know, perform sub options. We want the best oh, yeah. for everybody. Um. Oh, nice stuff. He gets the grab. Can we see oh, the yes. knee? And that's going to be the set. Mm. Really good conversion there by Hazy Goose. He's advancing on in the winner's bracket, taking it 2-0 over Sledge. Yes. But that Donkey Kong, that was the truth. Yo, DK is that the DK truth. DK is the truth. You set them up, you chump, you chuck them up with those uh, up airs after you get that throw, and then just blow into them, man. It's really good. Um, so for y'all that are maybe a little bit new to us, uh, we are the Brown Battalion. Yep. And uh, we pride ourselves on, you know, reaching out to what we believe is one of the best communities in the world. And uh, we love talking with y'all, hearing your stories, as, you know, asking, a answering any questions that y'all have. So make sure you hit me up at NeptuneFGC. Hit my boy up here at JVARG1990. Um, and in chat, we do look at that. I have my laptop up right here. So make sure you, any questions you guys have, use at Brown Battalion in chat, and I will be able to see that, and you know we will answer any questions yeah. you have that pops up in red. So, um, man, I got to tell you, I love DK, but I'll tell you what I love more about DK is Bowser in turbo mode. And then you do up B into dare, into up B, into dare, into up B, into dare, <laughs> and then you break their shield, and then you blow them up. <laughs> I found that one out today. That was good. It's real good. <laughs> so for y'all that don't know, you wrinkled my brain with that. Yeah, Yo. dude. It's really good. It's really good. You just have to space it proper. And oh, and there's the other thing that we did, which was, um, what's the what's it called whenever you make Bowser like the the demon mode? Um, okay, so here's what you do. You hold, you, we were already in giant mode, right? We were in giant mode with metal, metal turbo giant mode. And then we all picked Omega Bowser. Well, you hold down R and then you select Bowser, and then he goes into super big mode, right? Giga Bowser? Giga Bowser. And 
you you pretty much do that, go into Giga Bowser, and then we set all of them to computers level nine, and then we pretty much salty betted that thing, dude. Dang. Yeah. Flashing fire, some of the dude are like, dollar a piece, let's go. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wanna great. I wanna bet on amiibos, dude. I feel like that would be so much fun. I think that would be hype. Um I think we've we've talked about doing some stuff like that on tournament. Dude, Locator I'm telling you, man, like I want okay, so I have an amiibo, uh, a Pikachu amiibo. We named him Nine Tails. I just got a Pikachu amiibo. I just ordered a uh, new Nintendo three DS XL. Yeah, I showed I talked to you about that. Yeah. And I got Smash on it. And I as part of the deal, I got a free amiibo. So I got the Pikachu one. Dude, yes. that's nice, man. I'm telling you, my homie Ninetales is going to body the other Amiibos, hopefully at the next Denti's Bizarre Adventure, because there <laughs> is that Amiibo side tournament. And uh, I think uh, on top of commentating, I'm going to try to enter with uh, my homie Ninetales. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. Do that. It's going to be fun. Do I, I want to see how, how well he does. I think I'm going to be so hyped. Like, I, I feel like I cannot commentate a Ninetales match. Like, you anytime know? Ninetales is playing, <laughs> you're be Omega I'll be right behind. I'm like, come on, Ninetales. I'm going to be like SpongeBob in. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be like SpongeBob in, uh, in, in uh, that one episode when like he's training Gary for yeah, that yeah, race. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Gary! Hello, <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be me. Like, oh, that'll like, be great. Like, so, I'm going to be so mean to Ninetales. Like. <laughs> Yo, He's montage, make a video? montage video. Yes. Oh, montage. <laughs> Did you ever? Um, I don't think you ever had a chance to play like Virtual Fighter, right? So like in Virtual Fighter Four, I think or Four or Five, I don't remember. But you play that game and you have a mode where you just.